Everyone is gathering together for prayer. So the camp is very, very quiet. Well, we're, we're looking for a family that I met last year and I spent a couple of days with. Um, it's so difficult to know exactly where that was because uh, this camp tripled in size. So I had a feeling kind of like once we entered the camp, which way it was going to be, but then who knows now. Mm. There's Hadia. Hadia. Where's Hadia? Where is she? Oh, there she is. I guess I did my was a, a mother with three children. She was pregnant a year ago. I know Norsham Oh, many in Russia. I was in Los Angeles for one year. Malo, Sudan, Mafia, you know? Oh my, yeah, you haven't been to Sudan. Not yet. I hope to uh, when there's peace. Okay. Norisham had a baby, right? Norisham had a baby. Uh, Aja. She had a girl, all right. Okay. A lot of girls. Her husband was died in person. Really? Oh. Norisham's husband died. I'm mm. at Pashan. Abuyaro. Oh. How did that happen? He was killed because of uh, there is uh, his brother, wife, uh, brother wife at Parsana camp, and uh, there was a soldier went uh, at the at, at, at the house. Yeah. He and was then, trying to defend his brother's yeah, life. Yeah. And this is where I met uh, Nora Sham a year ago. I kind of. Uh, snuck away without the translator and I started walking just around these tents and then uh, I saw Noor Sham and some friends sitting here in the shade of I don't remember what's here here it looks a little bit different and uh, without the translator I just kind of started to try and communicate with them and I sat down and then I spent uh, that day with them then I came back the, the next day and it was just a uh, great spending time with the kids and, and seeing her um, go through her normal routine for the day and she was very happy because she was going to have a, a baby I think it was uh, she was about six months pregnant or so um, now we'll, we'll see how she's doing a little bit sad to hear well very sad to hear about her husband being killed well Nora Sham did not come back from celebration she has continued the celebration. <laughs> She's celebrating. So we might have to wait till tomorrow to see her. And he came two days ago. Two days. Come on, you. Eight days. <coughs> Five days. Eight days. Five days. Eight days. Four days. Four days. Nine days. Did something happen in their village 
while they were there or did they get out before there was an attack? Uh, Okay. Uh, when the Indians came, they are in their in their houses. They were in their houses. Yeah, and they are killing. So they they also run away. So the Janjaweed were killing. Yeah. And the family had to run away. Yeah. Is it the the Janjaweed alone that are attacking the village? Hal Janjaweed huma huma brah huma la nas arin kul maam. Huma akhirin ma akuma dat maam. Akuma maam. Uh, the, the Janjaweed with the government. With the help of the government? Yeah. Does he know about how many people died from his village? He can't know the, the, the exact number, but it's about uh, 50 person. 50 people oh, a month ago? Yeah. In a period of three days, yeah. people. 50 people were, were killed. Wow. The real problem is uh, they are killing the women and the babies. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes they they took babies and, uh, and women and put put in the, in the rooms and they blocked them inside. And uh, he's saying that if we men, they kill us, it's not a problem. Women and baby, it's a very shame. He's saying that uh, yeah, he's hearing the news about uh, what uh, the President Bush saying about Darfur, and also uh, the Condoleezza Rice and Kofi Annan, they are talking about Darfur. And he said that. Uh, uh, also, we need that the president, president Bush, I mean, to take action. We think that uh, enough talk that yeah. our president has talked a lot, yeah. and uh, a lot of uh, international leaders have talked about, but that we believe as him that there needs to be action now, not not just words. Many people. So we say that we are in the hand of American. So we hope that American will give us peace and our food.